It's day 135 of the project and today we're pulling back the curtains and letting some sunshine in because it won't be too long before the summertime is upon us again and we'll be packing away our oods, our tobaccos and as honeys in favour of some grapefruit, pineapples and bergamots. So today's scent of the day is a secret one uh, and I'm sharing with you and you only. Uh, don't go telling everyone about this one because it's too nice to share this information with non Mags Frag subscribers. So this one's uh, our little secret. Uh, this one is called Pomelo Paradis and uh, this is from Atelier Cologne and it just might be one of the best smelling freshies of all time. Uh, but to find out more about this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 135 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the start of the show. Today's featured scent is Pomelo Paradis or Paradis from Atelier Cologne and it's a citrus aromatic fragrance for men and women and it was launched in 2015. It usually retails for around about the £100 mark for a 100ml bottle size like this one uh, but I picked this one up um, as a gift set which included this 100ml bottle and it also included a 30ml bottle as well for a ridiculously cheap price from a, a private seller so it's always worth hunting around for a good deal if you're looking for a, a more expensive fragrance. Yes, yeah, so into the presentation and it came in this uh, really nice uh, attractive looking presentation box with like a, an almost like semi-abstract design of a landscape on the front and it also includes some uh, metallic br uh, gold branding and some metallic gold features got like some uh, like a wintry scene and you've got what I presume are these uh, pomelo fruits on the front. Uh, there's nothing else really around the uh, the sides or, or the back of the box but inside uh, we've got the two bottles uh, side by side we've got the 100 ml bottle and also the uh, the 30 ml bottle size there the bottle design is is okay on this one uh, but it doesn't set my world on fire it's a clear glass bottle and it contains a, a peach or a coral coloured label uh, with the name of the house and the name of the fragrance on the front. On the back is uh, lots of small print which is actually a little story about a guy driving through the night to be with his lady. Uh, but underneath it says that it's been made with 93% natural ingredients so that might be important to some people uh, and this definitely uh, isn't going to smell like a designer fragrance with all naturals in it. The cap is like a, a dark burgundy colour and it's meant to look like uh, leather but it's actually plastic uh, and it just slides onto the atomizer and it doesn't click into place uh, and it doesn't fit um, very snugly at all so definitely don't pick this one up by the, uh, by the cap. The sprayer is actually uh, really nice and it delivers a really nice smooth spray and I think it's got like a cute little burst of fine mist but overall the presentation is nice uh, but to me it doesn't uh, say a hundred pound a bottle nice. The top notes in this one are pink grapefruit, mandarin orange and black currant. In the heart we've got orange blossom, mint and Bulgarian rose and in the base we've got vetiver, amber and iris. Yeah, I'm going to start off with a very, very bold statement and I'm going to say that this has to be one of the best smelling openings of a fresh citrus fragrance that I think I've ever experienced. It's absolutely gorgeous and from the first spray you get this like extremely juicy mix of orange and pink grapefruit that's just quite sweet uh, but yet super, super fresh and it's incredibly uplifting and energising. It also has a tart fizziness to it and it reminds me of these little sweets we used to eat as a kid called sherbet pips. You probably won't know what they are in America but anyone in England will know what sherbet pips sweets are. You've got this like really now nice uh, fizzy fruitiness but it's also mouth-wateringly juicy and the citruses are just very realistic. It's like eating an orange that's dripping everywhere and if you can't enjoy how this one smells in the opening I think you're just weird. Um, as it dries down the citruses do 
do stick around uh, but it just becomes more of a clean soapy scent with a mild powder uh, like a mild powderiness and it still retains a, a really nice pleasant fruity character This one is for hot sunny days when the freshest of fragrances just isn't fresh enough. Uh, this is when you're looking for the biggest hit of fresh juiciness uh, that will just make you feel really happy in the summertime. You could wear this as a, a work scent in the summer and you could quite easily just give yourself 20 or 30 sprays of it uh, and you wouldn't offend anybody because it's just got such a pleasant smell. It's a total dumb reach scent for the summertime and a perfect one if you're uh, planning on going on like a, a Mediterranean beach holiday in the near future. It's just uh, really summery, really happy and I can't get enough of it, it's really nice. Yeah, so after all that positivity, unfortunately we get to the part that's not quite so good with this one. And having gone from having the best opening that I've ever experienced, uh, I've got to say that this one is possibly the worst fragrance that I've ever worn in terms of its performance. Uh, after half an hour, it's barely detectable, uh, and that's after 10 or more sprays. It's so disappointing that I feared that I might have even bought a fake product here. So the last time I went shopping, uh, I called in at a fragrance section at a, a local uh, department store and I tested it at the counter and I just got the exact same result. After walking around the uh, the centre for half an hour, it was just totally gone like a, a Harry Houdini magic trick. It's not such a, a massive deal to me because I paid next to nothing for this one. But the thought of blind buying this and paying £100 for it uh, with this kind of performance is enough to keep me uh, awake at night. I'll be probably just layering this with some ISOE Super or some Ambroxan uh, during the summertime. So at least there's some kind of aroma um, after it's all but faded away. And I'll just carry uh, maybe a little 5ml decant, uh, decant around with me just to uh, keep enjoying this opening every hour or so. The best way to describe this is it's a gleaming red Ferrari with the engine from a 50cc moped. And I hope nobody has clicked off this episode after they've watched the scent profile section and rushed out to buy it uh, without getting to the performance part. Oops. Um, it smells wonderful and even if it only lasted two hours, I'd say the smell alone would be worth picking it up. But when you only get half an hour of performance and it's uh, like over a hundred pound a bottle It's difficult to make any sort of case as to why it's worth picking up Unless of course you're a millionaire and you can afford to uh, go through a bottle of it per week It's so sad because it's such a stunning opening and it's uh, a 10 out of 10 in terms of how it smells uh, But a 2 out of 10 in terms of its performance So we'll kind of split this one down the middle and uh, I'll give it an overall score of 6 out of 10 Yes, yeah, so that's about it for today's scent of the day. In the next episode, I'm going to be talking about a very affordable fresh designer fragrance that definitely doesn't lack in the uh, performance department. So if you're looking for a great cheap alternative to the likes of your Bleu de Chanel and your Dior Sauvage, uh, whilst having its own character, then the next episode might just be right up your street. So as always guys, if you've found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's also great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques on all of the fragrances that feature in the 365 project. So don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in to this latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.